Taurus baby, there are some inner child wounds that are kind of popping out at me for this new moon. So I would definitely love for you to spend some time before the actual date of the new moon, kind of looking at what has happened since childhood and reminding ourselves that we are not what has happened to us. We are not what people need of us. We are not the expectations of our family members. I feel like sometimes Taurus was like the inadvertent light worker of the family as a fixed negative earth sign. Um, and this reading is for the new moon for mostly Taurus rising, but can be watched by Taurus sun as well as the Taurus moon to just kind of receive the vibrations of it. But there's definitely some stuff that's tucked away in our inner child's realm that is just popping out that I would love for us to look at. Right now, as I record this, it is the 7th of August and the moon is at four degrees of your sign. And the new moon that we're discussing is on the 16th of August, where the sun and the moon will be conjunct in Leo. So for wherever you are on this planet, whenever you're watching this, um, I'm gonna try to post this for you, especially ASAP, I'll probably post it today just so you have this, this information. But what, this is our ascendant sign on the general grid. Like, and like I said, for Taurus rising mostly, but please for Taurus sun and Taurus moon, there's just something for the Taurus that I'm meant to give to you. And this is a channel offering, so just take it for what it is. But so this is where we want to do things on our own. These are our relationships, public life over here. And then this is like the roots of the tree of your life like cultural, family, ancestral roots. And this new moon for you is happening in your fourth house of house, home, safety, my pocket of the world. This house for you is run by Leo, but in the general wheel, it is run by Cancer. It's run by the moon. So it's an interesting juxtaposition that like the lens of the house itself is run by the moon and for you, it is run by the sun. So I find it to be a little bit of like, what did my family need of me versus what I actually really needed from my family? not so much what I needed from my family, but what did I need to feel safe? What did I need to feel at home? And how is that really parlaying over into our adult life where, you know, for any version of, you know, a child that needed to be the peacekeeper of the family, you know, an adult child of alcoholic parents, like whatever version of a childhood trauma, and I'm using quotes for trauma because I want it to be like, insert whatever the fuck happened to you, around you, with you, in here. Trauma can be past life trauma, sexual trauma, uh, abuse trauma. Like there's so many different things or even this could be like third house is communication that can be sibling stuff. Watch now from now until the new moon, really do a deep dive into who did I need to be in my family when I was growing up? And did I want that role? Like looking back when I tell the story of my childhood, Am I a little bit resentful? Like, oh, my sister got to be this. My brother got to be this. My mother was taking everything out on me and making fun of me all the time. But like, who did you actually have to be? And how have those gold nuggets, and I'm using beautiful gold nuggets because that's where the gold is, honey. That's where the magic is. That's where we got to look right now. Because we know that new moons are a perfect time for us to be manifesting. So I wanna make sure, the reason that I bring up childhood trauma and all of these different things is because I don't want you to manifest the old version of you. There's infinite versions of manifestation, infinite timelines, infinite, and like literally, there's a version of me where I'm blue. There's a version of me where I'm a cartoon character. There's a version of me where I wave my wand around and things actually come out of it. And then there's a ver version of me where I'm flipped, but I'm right-handed instead of left-handed. There's infinite versions of infinite realities and infinite things that we can manifest. So the reason I ask you to take a look at what happened here, we have Venus retrograde and we have Lilith in the mix. So Lilith in the fourth house, natally can speak to a little bit of like unspoken sexual issues this could be like scorpio running your fourth house this could be like there's there's something happened whether it be a mother wound or a father wound that was projected onto you or maybe the mother projected onto her young son that you needed to be the man of the family even though you're only three years old and the father wound can be i put a basketball in your hand but you're only three years old and i need you to be a basketball player like that's that's your parents saying, I don't want to grow up, I'm forcing you to do it. So if that happened, or 
what version of that is accessible for you right now? What is that that is affecting you? And look at that, Venus retrograde, look at that. Lilith, conjunct this whole thing, look at it. And please go watch the introductory video for this new moon. And please definitely, I will highlight Pam Gregory's work. I will highlight the Energy Boutique's work. And they really deep dive into the aspects that the planets are making towards each other. My lenses are astrology, leadership, growth and development, creative expression, like entrepreneurship, like, like we're the leaders over here. So I don't want to, there's infinite information when it comes to these squares, the sextiles, like the conjunctions, the whole thing. So I would like to highlight their work if you're like a deep dive into the astrology aspects, because I'll just say that this sun and moon is square to Uranus over here. So when we have a square, it's like, Cars coming up to an intersection where one has to move before the other can go. It can feel like a little bit of like grinds and gears. So if what we're trying to manifest in our house and home is a little bit square, Uranus in your sign in Taurus saying like, I know I'm this new version of myself, but when I talk to this person, I become my old childhood self again. I know I need to be this version of me but I need this job to have my home so I'm not going to speak my truth at my job. There's so much happening here. There's so much happening here. I'm gonna deep dive in the private reading about like how play is an integral part of this and how that kind of like weaves into like what is it that you find enjoyable in your adult life? What did you enjoy in your adolescent life and what did you enjoy in your childhood life and who actually let you have that safe space to play? Because right now we have to be parent, child, baby, daddy, all rolled into one. All right, let's get into it in the private cafe. The link is below for that Patreon group if you'd like to join me. We're gonna deep dive into these planets. I love you, Taurus.